What's up guys? Wednesday morning, time is 8 o'clock. We are on the way to the office to see if we have power today. As Texans clean up from the destructive hurricane barrel in Houston, the heat index expected to soar to the triple digits again today. As hurricane you know, barrel made its windows, way across southeast Texas. Breeze. Your house is still hot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dangerously hot for nearly 2 million Texans still without power. The storm already blamed for at least... Oh, man, guys. It has been a crazy couple of days. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Hurricane Barrel um, hit land on Sunday night and then made landfall in Houston like Monday morning. And... Uh, as a result of that, like 2.28 million people in the Houston metro area lost power, and uh, our business was one of them. So we have been completely without power since um, like 6.30 a.m. Monday morning. And um, right now, the center point, which is like the grid operator, says that the lines to our building are energized but our cameras are still not up, so we kind of think that it might just be like an internet problem, but the electricity is on. So that's what we're really hoping for. If the electricity is on, but the internet is down, that is something that we can work with. We can still like start up the machines and get the orders out, but if there's no electricity, that's gonna be a lot bigger of a problem. So let's just see what we got going on. Stay tuned to find out. But yeah, as of right now, uh, I think Centerpoint says that like 1.4 million people are still without power. Um, so they've gotten it down at like 800,000, but there's still a ton of people without power. And uh, if you guys know anything about Houston, especially in the summer, it's pretty hot here. Um, so things are getting a little dangerous without this electricity for all of these different people. But um yeah it was just the actual hurricane wasn't the worst it made landfall as like a category one hurricane um so the really like there wasn't many problems with storm surge or flooding like that here in houston at least um michaela just looked at me like there was so i think on the coast there was a lot more problems but here in houston there wasn't like that big of a problem i think downtown had um some like flooding issues but those places like always flood i think the new set Anyways, um, the main problem was the wind, like it uprooted and knocked down a whole bunch of trees, which apparently affected the power lines and the grid. So that's what actually caused all of these power outages. Um, but yeah, it's just been a nightmare, man. So like I said, Centerpoint released that like outage tracker, but their normal outage tracker that they had has been down since like May. So they haven't had any outage tracker for all of the Houston Metro since May. And then this happened and now we still don't have an outage tracker, but they just like gave us this like random one, which apparently a, a bunch of people around the area are saying that it's really inaccurate. And uh, even the news has had to put like a disclaimer on it saying that like people have said this is inaccurate. Take, what, take it with a grain of salt, basically. Um, so yeah, we're kind of flying blind. Uh, we do have like this service alert signed up. So whenever the power does officially get restored, we will know. Um, I don't know about it. Pretty, it's not very fun. As like we're already on uh, two days of lost business, lost money, not being able to print and accept orders. So I'm just really hoping that when we get to the office, the electricity is on. So far though, on the drive, I haven't seen too much like problems, like debris or now E-trees, power lines, just a little bit here and there, and not as bad as I was expecting to be honest. Okay guys, here's our exit. When we were looking at like the press releases from Centerpoint, they were saying that uh, Brazoria, uh, a couple other places, and Bel Air, which is where our office is for some of the hardest hit areas. Um, so let's just see what we got. <laughs> Fingers crossed here. Might be uh, a little bit more damage in this area, at least of what I'm expecting, but got some, some trees down up here. Okay, this is a 
a little bit more severe in this area. This light is out, and it was like right as we caught, crossed into like the Houston uh, city limits. So, getting inching closer to our office, and the light being out, not the best side. I'm worried, guys. I've got yeah, it's the McDonald's right there. Office is not open. Not a good sign. Where's the ball got barrel? That guy lied to you. Oh, I'm good. There's a bit lights on here. Yeah. I don't see any lights on in the building in front of us. Yeah, there's no lights on this building. Oh, man. We'll be able to tell based on if the overhead light by our door is on or not. Oh, here we go, guys. What do we got? Is it going to be? I don't see the overhead light on. No, but I feel like we can start. Let me go check. See that light come out of the office. Alright, guys, let's go. Let's see what we got. Fingers crossed. It's on, guys. The power's on. The power's on, guys. The power's on. No, it's not. Yep. Oh, no. It's this like half. Well, the power's on right there. All right, let's see what we got. This is weird. It's like not on all the way, bro. I don't know what this means. I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not, but the lights are like super dim. And I don't think we're gonna have full phase power. Oh no. All right, guys. <laughs> um. Not sure what to do here. This has us pretty worried because someone's calling us right now. All right, guys, it's about four o'clock. Uh, we stayed at the office for like two hours and just kind of tried to just look around, see what we could see, see if we could see any like crews working on uh, the poles or if we could see anything that was like down near us that was causing the problem, but Unfortunately, we didn't see anything <laughs> obvious, uh, so we just made the decision to call it. And then we placed our orders, um, the orders that we had, with a partner print provider. So they're going to be the ones who actually print it, and then we'll get them shipped out to the customers. Uh, shout out to the partner. You know who you are for ho helping us out during this trying time. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I think... Uh, we're just going to really hope for the best here that we get power back as soon as possible. It's not very fun, uh, the cost to the bottom line that all of this is having. Um, but I don't know, there's really like nothing more that we could do at this point. There are obviously things that I think we could have done and can do going forward to be more prepared in case something like this does happen again. But at this current moment, like there's no generators in stock anywhere. Harbor Freight is sold out. Home Depot is sold out. Um, so it can't even like get a generator, but then even if we could get a generator, the printer uses, um, simplex outlets. So we wouldn't have the right kind of outlets to plug into the generator. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to have to look into some options. Maybe I know that there is like ways that you could tie your generator into your electrical panel so that when the grid power shuts off, it can flip over to generator. Um, I know that there's like those ones for like houses and like whole home generators, but I'm not sure if anything like that exists for a business. And I'm not even sure if it's something that I'm going to want to do because like we rent our building. So how much infrastructure upgrades am I going to want to make on a building that I don't own kind of thing. So this is just uh, not very fun. Pretty unfortunate. Um, everyone uh, just leave your hopes and uh, well wishes down in the comments. Everyone out there too for Houston, it's like 1.6 million people without power and it's hot out there guys. It's like 95 right now. So I'm just thankful that we have electricity here at the house and um, it's just our business that doesn't have electricity because 
it is obviously something to be grateful for having the electricity here at the house and um, we just have our business that doesn't have it so gotta count the blessings where they are it's just one of those things man can't uh can't stop a hurricane can't uh, do anything more than prepare right so that's what we did and I don't know, man. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like down below. Show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'm going to try and post an update as soon as I have one to the channel for you guys. Keep you guys up to date on what's going on.